Last time on Tokyo Ghoul, Kaneki has joined the cafe in Teku, run by ghouls, in order to basically keep a low profile. They help out ghouls who can't really help out themselves, namely Kaneki. And in doing so, they have generously been showing Kaneki the rope. Because, I have to assume, by doing that, there's less of a chance of them themselves being exposed. Unfortunately, ghoul hunters, referred to as doves, have been on the prowl because of what one ghoul, Rize, the ghoul whose organs were transferred into Kaneki, was doing. Basically eating just so many people. And thus, it's all in order to keep a low profile. Now something that I kind of sussed out before this episode was the fact that a new character has been introduced. Who just did, felt, it, something felt off about this introduction. And uh, while I made sure not to spoil myself, the wiki tells me that this next episode adapts from very much later on in the manga. A couple of volumes later, which is a little bit odd to me. I'm starting to feel that with Tokyo Ghoul, I might not need to look too closely at the manga because, well, things are really reshuffled here. It's very bizarre. And it's not like I've never seen this done for a series, but reshuffling of this degree, hmm. I'm always kind of wary about that kind of stuff because I prefer that things be at least a little bit more faithful to the manga. But if there's one thing I can avoid being spoiled on is the fact that we are entering something called the gourmet art. Someone who's been mentioned very much throughout the course of this series. And with a flashy, very posh looking gentleman showing up in the cafe that Kaneki works at, I have to assume that this is the gourmet. Now what does that mean? I guess I'll find out. So join me. Won't you? Hmm. Bit of a different outfit from the manga to the anime. <laughs> but uh, Toka really doesn't like him. You with the eye, Pat. You're new here, huh? Hmm. What's your name? Yo, boundaries, dude. Huh? What a wondrous aroma. You're interfering with the work, and you're gross. Yeah, this dude's creeping. Yeah, tackle Enjoy some coffee. Uh, uh, we'll oh God, that face. Okay, yeah, I'm immediately creeped out. Who the hell is this guy? I mean, people have said that Kaneki smells different, almost like human, but a lot of people tend to notice that he smells like a ghoul too. Then again, the one guy who was designing Kaneki's mask said, there are cannibals out there. Is he a cannibal? Who is that? Watch out for that guy. He's one of the 20th War's parasites. Huh. huh. We see his mask in the manga. How intriguing. The scent is... Yeah, and the manga comes right out and says, Ghoul, the gourmet, Shu Sukiyama. Ugh. This is definitely a creep. Creep alert! Creep alert! Uh, a jam bun again. The right... That's when we go for there. Can't you still a grown girl? Oh, uh, fried chicken. Ah, uh, no. Can't survive on bread alone. Here, eat this. Uh, change the seasoning. What do you think? <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. I think you're just saying that. No, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. She was trying to be nice. What's she doing? Pass it. Ah, uh, uh, she's actually trying to digest it. Oh, poor kid. I appreciate that you're at least trying to enjoy her food. Compliments to the chef. I ate it, you're like, huh. He's stalking him now. Uh, don't trust this guy, Kaneki. Merci beaucoup. What brings you to me on diversity? What if I said I came here to see you? Be a, be on alert, Kaneki. I don't know. There's a gourmet. One of the 20th worst paths. You appear to be quite the bibliophile. Go that far. Books are nice, aren't they? Just one sense to get lost is all sorts of dreams. But just one sense, the way I think of it, literature allows the reader's consciousness to be lost and authors closely to them. Isn't this how he got drawn in by that Rize chick? Just them manipulating him? Like, Kaneki, come on. How many times are you gonna get catfish, bro? And so, you freely walk around the world of stories. When you tell them you wish yourself in the world of books, you're able to forget who you are. You like books, don't you? Like, wow, after that, you like books, don't you? No shit, Kaneki. Stop being memorized with people with purple hair, dude. There's been many a story that has seen me through. Some bitter and painful times. He's a lot like me. Oh no, he's relating to him. You read Tataki too? Yeah, so many jokes, so I was going to try it. I like his style of writing too. 
It's literally the same thing. Who is this guy? Was he related to Rise? Can I catch any national man who loves but like go with me sometime? It has it he said Shimon must have said something to you. No, it's just... See, the anime is making him seem a little bit whimsical, but the manga, ah, it is oozing a sinister nature. And because you can hear Kaneki's thoughts in the manga, it's just like, okay, yeah, this dude is up to something. I've always been misunderstood. Uh huh. I haven't had anyone talk to since. Miss Kamashiro died either. Kamashiro Rize. He was a friend of Rize. I said the same kind of vibe from you that she had. There are many ghouls who are also in the book. Just wanted a friend who I could chat with. Uh, uh Kaneki. Oh, yep, there it is. You're getting played, kid. You're getting played, kid. Sunday at 3 o'clock. Oh, no. Okay. Have a nice evening. Oh, Kaneki. I said he was waiting downstairs for you. Sir Yomo. Downstairs. Uh. Where are we? Tight-lipped as always. Doves have entered the 20th ward. You mean... Huh. That's it. Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh Jesus! You do a fair job, Dudley, but you're hopeless at the rest of it. Stop by here on days you work. I'll train you. Alright. Are you coming with me? Yeah, everything's revolving around these few chapters. I'm glad you came to see me. Heard all about you from Ren and Uhi. Uh, pleasure to Have you known each other long? Hmm. A trio of friends? Pretty much stuck together. Back when Ren and Uhi on terrible terms. Because of them the fourth ward was even crazier than this now. Oh, my good times now, right? I guess. I mean, it was beyond anyone's control once upon a time. That bad. Huh? I like Miss Tucker when she gets mad. That is scary. <laughs> Enough talk about me. Either did you have something to say to him? Yes, I did. Wine? I'm still underage. It's not wine. Oh, whoa, whoa. Amazing. I've never seen a one-eyed ghoul before. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, that's kind of mean. Sorry, sorry, but right now it's just ghouls around. Hey, you still splash friggin' blood in his face. Token of my apology. I wonder if their other one eye is like him. Another one eye? Wait, so ghouls with one eye exists other than Kaneki? Someone else besides me with only one? Nope, did it grab your attention? Like, you see, if a human and a ghoul fall in love... Whoa, crossbreeds? I, I guess... You know, if their biology is very similar. Then isn't it weird for ghouls to eat humans then? But then again, they're drawn to eating humans. What do you think you'd get if you cross a human and a ghoul? You say they die. Oh, that's from infirmity. The chance of getting pregnant itself is pretty low though, huh? Never. An extremely rare case is one is born. Half ghoul, half human baby. Half human, half ghoul. Half-blooded ghouls are far superior to full-blooded ones, huh? And this one only had a red eye on the one side. Huh. So, did the doctor do this on purpose? In order to create a half-ghoul, half-human hybrid? It's gotta be. I mean, the doctor doing what he did, it's too extreme. You know, even news press would be like all over that. But if you were purposely trying to create a hybrid in order to create the, what, one-eyed king? The best of, but what is the benefit of being half human, half ghoul? You know, I, I'm not seeing the benefit of being both. What makes it good to have human within you? If Kaneki could suppress his hunger, be able to eat, Human food and ghoul food, that would be fairly perfect, but he can't. So what is the benefit here? Uh, then those stories are urban legends, one-eyed ghoul. Uh, well, what is it? Ask me anything. Do you know, do you know anything about Miss Commissioner Reese? Oh, why do you ask? No reason my body got to be this way. It started when I met her. I met her. Mm. Yet I don't know anything about her. See Reese, huh? She was a troublemaker whose death is shrouded in mystery. Indeed, over the last few months there's been a lot of talk in the town. Mysterious death, but it was an accident. Do you think it was a common accident? Okay, it, it is weird that beams would just suddenly fall. Like, no. Something is suspicious about the way she died. Kaneki couldn't be that lucky. That day, you see, rumor has it that a person was seen standing on top of the building at the same time the accident took place. Okay, so... It's weird that nobody knows that Kaneki was supposed to be Rize's victim, though. But it's obvious that a lot of people are just like, okay, something suspicious about this. So it wasn't a coincidence? Somebody killed Rize, or some such. The saying it's only a rumor, a rumor. Yeah, I don't feel like it's a rumor. I feel like it's something that people know for a fact. A ghoul dying in such an accident, not to mention, 
Is there no way to differentiate a ghoul's biology from a human's? Ah, feels weird. You know, with an autopsy, I would think you would be able to tell the difference. I would think a medical professional would be able to tell the difference. There has to be something that distinguishes humans from ghouls on a biological level. This is suspicious. Deeply suspicious. What the hell is going on here? You would think that in a world of humans and ghouls, that would be interesting enough, but a conspiracy. And Kaneki's somehow at the center of it. Weird. But why murder Rize? Was it because she was trouble? I mean, she was a voracious, but... Huh, who would, who would have done that? Yeah, something happened. Oh, gosh, yeah. We talked about what? Of course we talked about dying. Please, by your invitation. But ask them, uh, no interest in your members only gourmet club. Why not? You wish to have a taste of something higher. Well, whatever you can arrange on a plate for me won't be enough. Sure, there's nothing that beats flavor when eating. But ghouls pretending to be high society devoted to their palate. Cal comical how human that would be, isn't it? <laughs> Damn, she was kind of a bee. Hey, but she has a point. Like, don't you find it a little funny how human you're pretending to be? Oh, how dare the ignorant sound like her make a mockery of my dining. Oh, Jesus. This is sick, I gotta let that happen, I'm sorry. Cut my... Huh. Ugh, that face. Tell you what, Hineki. I know what Miss Kamashira's favorite hangout is nearby. Would you like to go there? Miss Reese's favorite place. Yes, I would. Right, so, let's head there right now. Is your finger alright? Uh, the bleed's out. Uh, should watch it later. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll wash it myself. Hmm. Uh, folks, I can't believe I let him, let myself spook him. Be cool. Be cool. Keep it smooth, why don't you? You just have to be patient a little longer. Ugh. Oh god. So this, oh my god. Uh, okay then. So discovering a new star. Live nude Kaneki. Why am I even taking a shower? I'm not so close here. Please be my guest. Yeah, this is set up. It's funny too because in the manga, Kaneki's tracking this dude down, trying to find out some information. In the anime, Kaneki's just another victim. <laughs> I kind of like him having a little bit more agency. Although, Kaneki's getting played either way. She used to come here too. Watch a cup of coffee. Enjoy. That's suspicious. Do not drink that. Kaneki, you dumbass. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for waiting. Presenting today's main dish. A ghoul of all things. Ooh. I'm not quite up for cannibalism. First by Mr. M.M. Mr. M.M. Why M.M.? Ladies and gentlemen, the flesh of a ghoul offers a coarse flavor not worthy of devouring. I'm sure those of you here with discerns of taste are well aware of this. What caught my attention was his scent. For, for a while, he is the ghoul. The scent of a human is also pervasive. So his human scent still lingers on his body. Body. Interesting. I mean, it was just a, what, a few organs? Maybe, what was it, a pancreas, kidney, spleen? A couple of organs. It, it is weird that he was transformed into a ghoul fully. I would think a blood transfusion would do that to him. But also, the organ transfer, that was weird too. Because you'd have to have a similar blood type and this and that, I would think. I'm not too familiar with organ transfers. Well, he's right. Aromatic. Magnificent. I can't take it. Aren't you fascinated? What sort of flair does a ghoul who possesses the smell of a human possess? Jesus. Miss it up. The whole thing was a trap. I venture to the unknown. Sense of smell and taste. Uh, let's enjoy the ultimate epicterian delight. Wow, that's a new word for me. Now here's the scraper who will be serving the dish. Scraper? Oh. Tell me, Madame. Hey, what is it, Mr. Pitsy PG? Which scraper have you brought with you today? It's my all-time favorite, Tara. Oh, big boy! Ugh. Pleasure to meet you. Oh my god. Get out of the way, Kanaki. Swash them good. Oh no, I like the version in the manga where there's at least two humans with him. That way we get to see some carnage. And just... Kaneki alone wouldn't feed this whole entire crowd. Go, Kaneki, go! Wait up, Taro. Come on, run! The Ramada is off. <laughs> he is all for an encouragement. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Gotta do something. Oh! Ole! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! 
Olé, 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 olé. Get him. This is bad. I can't get away. Oh, oh, nope. It's no use. That had no effect at all. What's the matter, Kaneki? Why don't you use your coog and that's a hurry things along here? I think of some way to slip out of here. Ah, and he fell in the blood. Ooh. What? Did his legs get all twisted up? Ladies and gentlemen, it appears the drug is starting to take effect. Don't tell me the coffee was. Gotcha. Yeah. Ring his neck. Rip his guts out. Eve, this is this is fun. Yep. The eye. Ooh. A one-eyed ghoul. One eye. One eye. One eye. For real? Tyler, snap out of it. Get up. Get hit. One eye. How rare. Are you yeah, alright? What a delicacy. Yep, Tyler. It's hopeless. That's it. What a good walker. What a good walker. Jeez. Mom is so excited. Oh. Oh. It hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm terribly sorry for all the commotion. I had no way of knowing that he was a so-called one-eyed ghoul. However, I have no intention of ruining dinner we all came for. How does this sound to everyone? Oh! How about we enjoy Renamay's pet boy, the Scraper? Right, you good for nothing. I hope you get fed on quickly, damn you. Wow, she turned on him so quickly. It, does his outfit have a design from getting splashed with blood? That's next level. Do you enjoy that, Kaneki? I just meant this to be a little joke. A joke, huh? No. I may have been a bit hard on you. Can we forget about this? Bullshit! You just want to eat him yourself. Such a rare treasure. I'm not letting anyone else eat him. Of course. Fuck no. Dude's a freak. The anime makes Kaneki far more of a victim. I must say, I kind of prefer the manga just a little bit. Because Kaneki fought back a bit much more but then again he experienced something involving the doves he fought and killed two of them maybe i'm not i'm not clear on that yeah something involved the doves that kaneki was wrapped up with so kaneki has at least a little bit more experience but is it better that he take on someone who's not as capable as them before he moves on to them or it doesn't show how far he's come if he takes on the big dude after fighting the dog. Huh, I wonder. Yes, yes, I can see him. That's the face I want. A nice feeling. <laughs> Is he taking a photo shoot? This is great. Can't get say no. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, well, apparently. I'll be appearing on the upcoming cover of the comics. Kineki, would you can't enjoy me? Well, huh? no, I'll pass. I know, that's right. I wouldn't want any part of that. Uh, yeah, Kaneki, uh, you got a lot to learn, bro. You literally got lured in the same way twice. At least in the manga, he was tasked with finding out about the whole gourmet club. He was just a little dumb for not kind of realizing he was being drawn in while he was trying to get himself in. He's just like, oh, this is going pretty smooth. I'm managing to infiltrate this pretty easily. Whereas in the anime, it's just like, Huh, just kind of wanting to hang out with the dude, find out more about Rize. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying that the anime makes Kaneki a little dumber. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, but the question I have is, what does it mean to be a one-eyed ghoul? Interesting. Like, does it have any meaning? And... Are there, there, apparently there are others? Hybrid ghouls. I wonder if they've been created in the same way. Huh. Well, let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. No spoilers, please. But subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Much more than, uh, Taro's mama loved him. <laughs> okay? Until next time, I've been Deuce This Din, and I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye